case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark case, the Delaware Supreme Court ruled in 2013 against SIGA Technologies for breach of contract during negotiations with Pharmathene. The legal tangle surrounded a license agreement for a smallpox antiviral drug, with the court ultimately finding that SIGA did not uphold its obligation to negotiate in good faith. SIGA Technologies and Pharmathene initially entered into a licensing negotiation for an antiviral. However, the court found SIGA violated a crucial aspect of contract negotiation, the obligation to negotiate in good faith. The discord reached a fever pitch when SIGA tilted a draft agreement too much in its favor, leading to the lawsuit. SIGA appealed the decision, landing the case in the Delaware Supreme Court. Pharmathene, in a cross-appeal, sought to enhance the legal findings against SIGA and appeared to assert its contractual rights more forcefully. The tension revolved around SIGA's contention of the law, the contractual provision about negotiating in good faith, and the application of the promissory estoppel doctrine. The Delaware Supreme Court swiftly and affirmatively ruled that SIGA had indeed breached its negotiation obligation. On remand, the court asked for re-evaluation of attorneys' fees and costs, with Pharmathene getting the prize based on the fee-shifting rules in the original loan agreement and the ubiquitous bad-faith exception rule. Uniquely, the court authorized the lower court's vice chancellor to reassess expert testimony value where necessary, a nuanced judgment that could influence the proceedings. This long legal contest underscores the importance of upholding a negotiation commitment when made, especially when it's related to contracts, promising to set a lasting precedent in commercial litigation. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.